Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here. <laughs> back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back! Yeah, I get Another episode of Guitar of the Day. Yeah, Jen's gone again. Where to, you ask? <laughs> Freaking Vegas again. She's like Vegas rat, man. She just keep going back to Vegas just for like a night or two. She's a gambling addict. She's I got know. a big problem. I know. We're gonna have to intervention, intervention. her. But those penny slots, though. <sighs> those penny slots pay out big, kids. But, uh, if we start interventioning Jen, then then anybody's game for an intervention. I'm trying to live my best life, like you said. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. So it's still yeah. I still got the same stuff on. It's still Friday. But hey, I don't have anything else better to do, right? I'm not busy. I'll just do two today. I'm doing two today too. <laughs> it's freaking Stratter Day. I promised you a Strat. And it's not one of those Sahara Tope 80 strats like we've been doing. It's not, those, you know, it's not a half ass strat or day. This is both cheeks, man. This is the good <laughs> stuff. It's freaking strat or day. Come on back. Oh, it's one of the last of the pre CBS strats. It's a 1965 L Series Fender Stratocast original three color sunburst. Freaking clown burst. White guard, pearl dots, transition logo. What? But still L series number. Man, it's just like the Tom Petty one. That's nice. We, we, during Tom Petty, we oh, God, that's coming up on a year. Already? Oh, that just hit. Yeah, that's coming up on a year. Uh, yeah, when we did Tom Petty, we, uh, we, we did a strap kind of very, very similar appointments to this. We got another one. So yeah, people ask like, why the, um, why the big difference in price between like 63, 64, 65? They're all L series strats. Well, it's really, it's really about uh, the the spec sheet, okay? You know, the 63s are gonna cost the most because, and the early, early 64s because of, of the specs that they share with the really early things, like spaghetti logo, like uh, clay dots, like the mint green guard, you know? So the first thing that you really see change is the logo. They start doing the training logo like in uh, 64. So you get out of that sp uh, spaghetti kind of Fender logo. When CBS kind of, uh, negotiates the deal during that interim period fenders start using the transition logo you're going to see that all the way into 67 before they kind of really start to get the new cbs that big black block logo that kind of curled along the big headstocks um so that's the first thing that changes then by the time you get into the end of 64 they get out of the clay dots on the fingerboard and they start to go to the pearl dots so you'll see a lot of uh, training logo pearl dot green guard strats but that's probably going to be a late 64. Then by the time we get into 65, you have all three changes. Transition logo, pearl dots, and then we go to the three-ply white pit guard. They get out of the mint green. But again, still an L-series plate, so it's still a pre-CBS strat. Y'all follow? Mm -hmm. A really clean one too, man. Really nice condition. Nice little bit of grain on the neck here. Original hard shell case. Still has the original three-position switch. Three tunes and we're done for the week. Let's go out to the couch. Let's plug this thing in, get the weekend started. All right, we're out front. We have the 1965 Fender L Series Stratocast, original three color sunburst finish. White guard, pearl dots, transition logo. We're going through the 64 custom deluxe, hand wired deluxe reverb from Fender today. All EQs at noon, so is the volume. Just a little bit of reverb. Starting up on the neck pickup, all by itself. Let's see what this thing can do. position middle pickup all by itself here's what we got
wide freaking open all by itself. Here we go. <laughs> Nineteen sixty-five, one of the last of the pre-CBS Strats L Series, sixty-five Fender Stratocaster, three-color sunburst finish, white three-ply pickguard, pearl dots, transition logo, still the L Series number, still considered pre-CBS, still has the original hard shell case. There's your freaking Stratter day, and there's another week of Guitar of the Day in the bag. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars, and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at Norman's Rare Guitars. Dot com. Make sure you submit your set list for the week to Jen at normansrareguitars.com and we'll be picking a new winner on Tuesday for all of our uh, free merch giveaways. And remember, as soon as we get to 300,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm giving away something good. So keep telling your friends, keep passing it along. As soon as we get to 300, we're giving away something. We'll see you guys next week for another brand spanking new week of Guitar of the Day. See you then. Peace. Bye.